Well, the anticipation is over, and now the big day is here. It's the final of the UEFA Europa League. I'm Derek Ray, and as always on these big occasions, I'm joined for commentary by the former Arsenal and England defender Stuart Robson. We're on the cusp of kickoff. It's Sporting versus Arsenal. Well, Derek, this should be a top-class game between two excellent teams. Whoever gets control of that midfield area should win the game, but I think this is too close to call. Here are the starters for Arsenal. Aaron Ramsdale is the goalkeeper. Martin Odegaard plays alongside Thomas Partey in the centre of midfield. And the main striker here is Edward Nketiah. Paulinho. And that was a very fine read. And they know they need to stop him. Pressure exerted, but he keeps the ball. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Chance to play it in. And still looking to get the shot away. Well, who will be the player to decide the outcome, to determine the course of events? No reason at all why it won't be this man, Stuart. What do you anticipate seeing from him? Well, Derek, I expect him to score again today because he's got four goals in the last three games. He's looked outstanding when he's been running in behind. And I expect him to cause this defence all sorts of problems today. Thomas Partey. Martinelli. A chance to whip it in. High quality defending. Pedro Gonzalez. It's with Nuno Santos. Still passing it around with authority. But he knew he had to get to the ball, and he did. And Kessia. Bukayo Saka. Partey. Accurate pass upon accurate pass. Oh, a lovely ball. Oh, there it is! Arsenal hit the front in the final. And just listen to their supporters. Exactly what they were hoping for. Well, here's the replay, and he shows great awareness to play this through ball. And he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. So on they go again. Will there be a response from Sporting here? There needs to be. use of his physical strength to hang on to it definitely look as though they want to make this move count Granit Xhaka and Ketia has it well, couldn't find a teammate unfortunately and a throw in to come Inacio. Now with Edwards. Inching towards the half-time interval. It's Arsenal in front. And Stuart, how about your thoughts on their performance to this point? Well, they've worked hard and played well to be in front here. But they now need to keep their focus as we approach half-time. Granit Xhaka. Gabriel Martinelli. Jaka and Kessia, and with that, the attack fizzles out. Paulinho and the ball with Pedro Gonzalez. Nicely timed tackle.
Gabriel Martinelli. Thomas Partey. Xhaka. Martinelli. And here's Xhaka. Oh, big opportunity. And a goal! Well, let's take another look, and it's not good enough defensively. They're slow to react, don't get tight enough, and don't deal with the situation. And there's the outcome. And so it is, the first half story has been written. The quest for Europa League success. And the second half of this final is underway. Could pull one back here and thumped away. Counter-attacking very much an option. Defenders need to cover. Xhaka. And he takes all the shots. Another goal! And surely there's no way they can throw this away. Absolutely dominant. Well, let's take another look. And it doesn't come much closer than this, does it? He just squeezed it in off that post. Very good finish. So the game continues, and Arsenal cantering to victory now. Pedro Gonzalez. And the flag does go up. Must have been close. Stats don't lie, Arsenal had most of the possession. Yes, they've played well when going forward, but it's been their ability to regain the ball which has made them so hard to play against here, and it makes them such a good team. Oh, tremendous goal! Technical excellence to finish that one off. Wonderful to have that in your repertoire. Well, here it is again. Just look at the quality of the cross. It's inch perfect, while the movement in the box is equal to it. It's such good timing. What a goal. And this is turning into something of a rout. 4-0. 30 minutes left for play. Manuel Ugarte. And now Paulinho. And it might be. Well, I think you could call that an escape. It looked a certain goal. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Good strength to keep the ball. Xhaka. Nkesia. What a crucial intervention inside the box. Nkesia. Just the challenge that was required. Nuno Santos. And now Paulinho. 
And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Well, that break looked so promising, but nothing coming from it. Nuno Santos. Well, that is how to nullify the opposition. In with a chance! Can they convert? And not cleared away properly. Well, threat over for now. Well, in the dying embers of the game, but Arsenal still full of life, a most enjoyable performance. Well, what an excellent performance this has been. They've had complete control for most of the game. Their movement, clever passing and energy have been a joy to watch. It's been a really good win for them. Tremendous ball played through. And he's apparently veered into an offside position, Stuart. Well, that's tight, really tight. But he was just too anxious to make his run. He was in, though. Cow. And Ketia has it. Determined defending. What about the stoppage time situation? Two minutes the word. Pedro Gonzalves. And there's the whistle. This UEFA Europa League final has been decided. And my goodness, they deserve it. Disappointment on one side.